something I would initiate. Mandatory, yeah. Uh, so anyway, these two decide to kill themselves in the middle of a crowded restaurant in front of everybody in the face of the society that forced them to this tragedy. You know, real high brow stuff. <laughs> you know, the young woman that is dying and, and the uh, hopeless, helpless, romantic Romeo who can't live without her. Oh, <laughs> a real exercise in pretense. This <laughs> crap. So anyway, I, I'd like to make a toast. Here's to art, life, death, refined friends, and most importantly, here's to me. <laughs> I'll die loving her. I'll die to love her. <sighs> something more romantic, something 19th century uh, poetic quality. I'll go to my grave loving my wife. The inadequate always have something to say. They just can't. I hope this will be adequate. It gives you a lovely view of the cathedral. Yeah, we've seen it already. The bus station, too. Can I get a scotch, please? Uh, your waiter will be here shortly. Enjoy your meal. He is in rare form tonight. Doesn't get any better than this. What a freak. My God. How many nights did I stay up with his ass? Hang himself, shoot himself, pills. His poetry sucked. But his means of self-destruction were even more derivative and banal. I've got a tumor the size of a golf ball, and he can't communicate what's in his heart to the rest of the world. That sounds like a good enough reason as any. Shit. No cigarettes. I really wanted to smoke. Laugh in the face of the oppressor. Everything that's killing me. He wants to kill himself more than I do. Sounds like some dreadful performance art or something. Birth of tragedy's child or some other romantic drivel. Then there was this performance art. Oh, Christ, the worst piece of trash. Some guy breaking down barriers because he's naked. <laughs> naked, man. Uh, I shouldn't even give it merit by commentary, but, well, you know, performance art, it, it makes no secret of being a waterless river. Yeah, I, I do. At least to me, it's so awfully obvious. I mean, it's almost as bad as the current state of American film but less nudity. <laughs> we should order health food. Wouldn't that be ironic? Be the only ironic thing you've ever done. Oh, come on, honey. Not now. Of all times. You know I love you. Spoken like a true poet. God, I hate him. She does this. I could never have her. I whined to her, cried, wrote pages and pages of garbage to her, about her. She never left, not for good anyway. Had her flings, but she never left me. That's true romance, ideally or not. So I fashion myself as this inverted Greek chorus, and I get out of my get seat. I mean, I mean, the play's still going on, and I get out of my seat, and I shout, hey, come on, do it already. No, Save no. us all a precious half hour. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> that young man committed artistic suicide that night. <laughs> You know, I'm sure if that press wouldn't have folded, my last few things would have been published. They loved what I had in that anthology. A misguided young anarchist spewing out about alienation and the abolition of this state. It's not much competition. You're stuck in Bologna. Well, 
I admire, as usual, your idealism, darling, but uh, I will not embrace your cynicism. It's far more juvenile than the anarchist you so disgust. Wait a minute. I do not hate certain kinds of people, nor am I disgusted by them or whatever. I just think it's okay to admit things the way they really are, that's it. Surely I am not the only one who knows that if the anarchists get their version of anarchy, they'll be the first ones to go. And this means what? If you are not going to embrace my cynicism, what are you doing here? Carrying out, uh, I don't know, discovering an idea. Avoiding a sickness. A little bit of that, too. Avoiding life. Avoiding avoiding. That was good. Good God. If he only knew his naivete was the only poetic thing about him. As trying as it might be, his innocence is enduring. So my editor says to me, Ernest, surely you can find this character enduring. No, no, oddly likable, I think. When we did said, Bitter Man, it was Of course, bad. he thought I was uh, writing him off a little bit too hastily, but I say, good riddance. Not one ounce of tragedy in that insepid figure. <laughs> does it? I mean, this pursuit is based on achieving the ultimate embarrassment anyway. I suppose so. Where are you going to put it, Lee Harvey? Mm -hmm. I don't know. In the water, maybe. In the food. Ketchup would be cool. You know, taste the blood of the devil. Put it in the salt shaker. Let the management think they were responsible. Nobody did here for weeks. Compassion till the very end. That's why you're still with me, isn't it? Why, compassion? Underneath this hardened veneer, I'm a soft, subtle, rotting, decaying body. doesn't even have to become involved. I mean, break it down to the most absurd level. Moral responsibility. Moral responsibility. What's that? <laughs> I mean, bang. I'm dead. You got choices. I don't. I'm dead. Political ones mostly, but not, but not moral ones. I mean, leave it to your fellow humanist critters <laughs> to, to deny us the one true art form we have left. <laughs> There, the winter of our discontent. You know, some seasoning. If a writer can't flourish, then tell me why he would write. Why did you write, huh? Couldn't have been for money. <laughs> what was it, catharsis? Couldn't have been only for me. Well, it I was you. trying. It was more than you. It was fear, I, I don't know, fear of dying oh, and not Jesus accomplishing Jesus Christ, it. not again. You can do better than that. I've heard that. Can't you have some sympathy or some remorse? God, you never understood, did you? If I felt I had some control, I could have done it. If I'd have known you'd been there. Oh, now what, what, what? It comes back to this? It's my responsibility? I am not going to sit around playing the poet's muse while you sort out your fucked up life. 
or your style or whatever. That my logic is invalid. Can you believe it? My logic. I mean, he's logic. sitting there talking about free play and difference, and, and my logic is erroneous? Oh, I nearly beat him to death with my own manuscript. <laughs> beat him to death. But I feared being as heavy-handed as he was, because <laughs> I'm just not a purveyor of excess. <laughs> I don't know. Should I feel sorry for him and myself? What does it matter now? The choice has been made. He looks she looks emptier than I feel. feel. She looks at me so cold, so sick. It's like this thing is feeding off both of us. Draining me of all desire. It's been such a long time since I've written anything. Yeah, what does it matter now? At least this project is near completion. I thought I would enjoy my food for a minute. Well, how can you eat so calmly? <laughs> Hysterics would be so unbecoming. Let's try to go with some decorum. Okay? Decorum? Decorum? I don't want decorum. I don't want this. Why'd we come here if you wanted fucking hey, decorum? Easy does it. Don't come apart on me now, all right? Why don't you have another drink, Aunt Scott, or here, have some salt? Jesus, fuck, stop it. For once, you know, you're running away just as much as I am. You're no fucking Juliet, you know. Where are you going? To the bathroom. Find some decor. saying about, about acting or performance or whatever. It was a slight against you. I mean, I mean, you're marvelous. I mean, never hackneyed, restrained, never too calculated. That can be difficult with, um... Beckett? No, no, no. Albie? Oh, yeah, 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 Beckett, yeah, yeah. A completely original interpretation. Yeah, a, a totally real uh, uh, characterization of the absurd. Uh, well, true to life, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd come to know Godot, vicariously, of course. <laughs> but I was in Endgame. I've never done Godot. Endgame, Godot, what's the difference? It's so minor. I mean, you a similar motifs, a little bit of despair, a touch of hopelessness. Uh, Bizarre character names. You know, I've begun a response to Godot. I'm thinking of entitling it uh, Growing Tired of Godot or, or Getting Rid of Godot. <laughs> you know, if Godot actually appeared, would it be too much? I mean, too overwhelming? Would this, would this elusive thing be tolerated? Wait, that's Ernie's wine. Wine is wine, my friends. My wine is your wine. <laughs> Something relentless, something that preyed on the mind. It went on and on and achieving nothing. You know, an apt metaphor for modernism. <laughs> Jesus. My God, man. Call an ambulance. Well, I guess for once I play the hero. What's going on? 
huh? We just killed a guy. What? What are you talking about? I don't need any games right This now. is not a fucking game. The guy is dead or dying, whatever. The fucking Bisbo took our salt shaker. He took him all the fella. They got a really good dose. He was pouring on so much. Fuck. Shit. Oh, oh man, they're killing the whole place. Oh, God. Oh, God. We'll go to jail. They'll get our fingerprints off that thing. Oh, God. God, I gotta calm down. All right. What are you staring at? It looks so obvious. Well, people have already seen your hysterics. They probably already know something's up. Oh, God. We gotta get that salt shaker back. All right. All right. I'll go get it now. The guy is dying, and you're gonna say we ran out of salt? Yes. Need some salt. Well, I think that's the final curtain for our dramatic friend. Well, let's raise a glass to our fallen comrade. Hand me my wine, my good man. He went out appropriately, if not ostensibly. Regardless, it was a brave performance. I'll most likely be eulogizing him, chronicling his achievements both on and on and off the stage, his ill-fated attempt at, at uh, method acting, his, his uh, outdoor festival thing. You'll be reading it all in, in the best variety journals, I'm sure. So what do we do now? I'm too nervous to do what we came here to do. Oh, come on. You weren't going to really go through with it, huh? Indecision is what motivates you. Oh, and what have you done? What have you committed yourself to? What have you You're done? now what just as a failure as I ever was. I am going to die no matter what my commitment has been made for me. What's your excuse? Oh, so you're going to blame this hey, on me, going to live longer in jail? Maybe you can lay off long enough to find us a way out of this. We are not going to kill ourselves tonight. It's a pretty hard act to follow. Yeah. <laughs> if we uh, did it now, it just... Well, it'd be trite. People have seen it before. Just replication. Oh, Jesus. There goes another one. Looks like we've started a trend now. Well, at least we made some sort of statement tonight, huh? Yeah. I'm beginning to develop this strong sense of power about now. Well, it has been over 10 minutes since you killed a guy, so you must be well past guilt and into self-justification hey, at this point. If I am going down, I am going to take a piece of everyone with me, huh? I'm beginning to like it. So should you. It's the only thing you've ever really accomplished. Okay. Well. I'd be lying if I said I didn't get a little charge out of it. You know. The, uh... Thrill. Of whatever. Gained, of course, from someone's death. So, uh, what should we do now? Ask for the check? The, uh, the staff is a little preoccupied right oh, now. I'd say. <laughs> it's Dine and Dash. Yeah. Killing Dash. <laughs> well, who's gonna know? <laughs> 